Group number three. <laughs> this is the remainder of your reading. Like, I, I went to go look. I, I think I got, like, to the last few minutes, and I had realized that I was probably talking to y'all for a good 15 minutes with my headset muted. So, we weren't able to get into your last two cards, really your last four cards. And I really do want to finish out the reading because it was such a good message. Out of all the different, out of all the groups, I'm not going to lie. Group number three, y'all reading really resonated with me. It moved me. It was very, it was, it was an emotional reading for me. It's, I just, I, I feel, I know for a fact Spirit needed to get this message across to you. So I had to do a second video so I can finish out y'all reading. Okay. Um, yeah, because I ain't playing that. I'm not playing that. It was too good. It was getting too damn good for me not. But the next card that we had had for y'all was surround yourself with protective energy initially the moment i seen this card the first thing i was thinking is crystals you need to invest into having some crystals and some um you know uh, some crystals some sage some palo santo stuff like that especially because we got the message of you know you're surrounding yourself with people that aren't really vibrating at your frequency and because of that you want to make sure that when you're out and you're interacting with these people, because like we say, energy don't die, just transfers. You want to make sure that you're getting that energy up off you before the day's over and you lay down, you know? So definitely want to invest into that, getting you some sages and some palo santo sticks and some crystals and stuff like that. Um, but I do want to get behind the tech, to get into the textbook definition of the arrow card and let's get into it for the second time because I can't even believe technology would ever play with me like that. It had me running my mouth all that time. And ain't nothing coming out like for real, y'all. <laughs> like for real. And I'm talking I'm talking about I'm dropping gems. It ain't gonna hit like that the second time. I'ma still do it because I'm gonna get the cause I ain't planning about getting this message across, but for real. Crazy, bro. Crazy. Crazy. <laughs> but anyway, the arrow card. It says surround yourself with positive people experiences and environments and that's what i was telling you guys um with the shaman card i said something is like brought in your horizons with like with people experiences places like there is so much more this spirit and your guardian angels want you to experience that you have yet to experience and deep down inside you probably have a desire to experience it as well but anyway it says surround yourself with positive people and experiences and environments that make you feel safe calling your angels, gods, and ancestors to bring you protection. Arrows have long been revered as symbols of protection as many native people would use the bow and arrow as a weapon of defense. When an arrow appears in meditation or dreams or an oracle reading, it is a sign you need to protect yourself and what is important to you because not everyone has the same intentions as you do. This doesn't mean that people are intentionally wanting to hurt you, but they can be careless in their choices and actions, and this could affect you. There are energies around you that could lower your vibration, and it's important you become aware of them and aren't brought down by them. Thank you, Spirit, because you cannot tell me I did not say that, okay? When that shaman card came up, that's what I felt deep in my gut. I'm like, I just feel like I'm speaking to somebody or a group of people who are surrounding themselves with people who just ain't vibrating at a frequency that is beneficial or progressive to anywhere that they're actually trying to go. And it can't, and it's not that you're surrounding yourself with people that are really just bad for you or want bad for you. They just might have different intentions than you. They may have a, a small, they might be looking, looking at life through a, through a completely different lens than you're looking at. And you guys are just not vibrating at the same frequency. And overall it's actually bringing down your own frequency. So you honestly, when it comes to elevating and, and trying to elevate your life, some people just can't come with you. Like, that's just what it is. It's like, it, it's painful. I know it's hard to hear, but some people just can't come with you because that can literally stop your elevation or stop you reaching the heights you need to reach. You need to be surrounding yourself with new, different people, different experiences, so you can maximize this time that we have here. Like, real shit. Okay? Okay, and it's important that you become aware of them and are not brought down by them. Now, the extended message is if you're in a situation where you feel that not everything is as clear as it seems, trust your intuition. 
There are energies, there are energies in your current situation that aren't fully aligned with your intentions and goals. I said that. Um, or with kindness. Follow your intuition about whom to trust and what to trust. If you can take time to retreat or to step out of the situation to assess what is going to be beneficial for you, do so. In any event, this is a time to call on the energy of protection and to place yourself in a space that feels safe. Okay? All right. I love it. I love it. I love it. There was no way I could not get y'all this message. This shit's hitting. It is. It is. Me too. All right. So the next one we have was Medicine Mother. And um, it says, Medicine Mother, honor your inner knowing. Honor your inner knowing. Because I think a lot of a lot about your current situation or even maybe just different day to day situations in your life. You be knowing like I'm so above this shit. Deep down inside, you probably know and you feel that like I'm really above this shit. The people I'm around, the shit I'm doing day to day. I'm this 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 is not like. I'm, I'm above this shit. I got way, way more. Life is supposed to be giving me way more than just this right now. This day to day chopping it up. Ch- Whatever it may be, I just feel like that's the type of people that I'm talking to right now. You know, deep down inside, there is something more that's supposed to be happening. But for the type of person that you are, and you do have a hidden potential, this shaman card is a powerful fucking card. You have some real hidden potential that you're not maximizing. And you won't really be able to if you keep, if you're standing in an energy that doesn't, that isn't progressive to that. Honestly. Hold on. Little chat, little chappy. something done to this top lip y'all ain't got no top lip for real but anyway (laughs) medicine mother it says honor your inner knowing take action and do what you need to do mother always knows best they say and it's true we all know a maternal figure who's extremely intuitive and insightful and this medicine mother has gone through many ups and downs she has lived and she has lost she knows what it's like to suffer and to want to give up so the medicine of this card is that it's okay to make mistakes and get it wrong sometimes And it's okay for things to come to an end. It's not the end of the world. It's just the end of one chapter and the beginning of something new. Now, yeah, so all these friends that you might feel like, because when you're closing out chapters, sometimes you got to close chapters out on relationships, friendships, jobs, whatever it may be. And I think what Spirit is just trying to want you to know that when you don't look at it as a loss, look at it as you're going to be closing one door and like five other doors are going to fucking open. Better doors at that. Okay, so don't look at it as a loss. Um, Yeah. So anyway, it's just the end of one chapter and the beginning of something new. The medicine mother reminds you that even though you will have low lows, you are not here to suffer. You're here to be supported and to support others. Let her give you the loving encouragement to take the next step forward. Extended message. There is an old pattern rising up in you now, and it's time to deal with it and release it for good. You're being encouraged to love and respect yourself enough to take the steps you know you need to take to move closer to where you'd like to be. You already know the answers. You know what you need to do. And you may have been using delaying tactics or holding back. But now you're being guided to take action. And action requires courage. But your angels and gods are bringing you the courage to move forward. Take just one step. And when you do, the next one will be presented to you. So you were so divinely guided and so divinely protected. And group number three, I really just need you to know that. How special you are. You're considered a star seed. You have shamanic potentials to move between realms. You're a star seed. I think it says something about a light worker. Light work and light work. And you're kind of in the same calling of maybe what it is that I'm doing. You just need to figure out what that is. Harness it and tap into that. Tap into that and harness it. Okay, and then the next two cards that I got for you that... um, you didn't even really get to see me pull. You can see me pull. You just can't hear me talk about them because I lost the audio. The audio. Well, I kind of trimmed the video. So now that it's kind of just going to like cut off at the part that has the audio. And then, yeah, it'll pick up within the second in the um in the second video that I'll have for group three. I really am sorry that it had to come out like this because it's like, ugh. I yelled for like 10 minutes. <laughs> anyway, um. So we, the two cards that I got for you, the tarot deck, I don't pull tarot often, but um, 
I'll be honest. Tarot can get a little dark, so I kind of do stick with Oracle more than I do with Tarot. Just because I like my readings to be more lighthearted. You know, whatever. But anyway, um, I did pull Tarot for, for you guys, and it's really positive. So we have, um, what I what I asked Spirit was, what to what is something that will be expected in 2023 for group number three? And then we got the... Um, we got the Queen of Wands, and that's just all about good business sense, confidence, foresight, um, magnetism, and um, you know, a kind, loyal, kind-hearted person. Um, yeah. Okay, and then we also had I also had the Ace of Cups, so I just feel like um, with the Ace of Cups, that's going to be bringing in new beginnings new beginnings new experiences new relationships um exactly what it is that you want to manifest in your life this is what the ace of cups is going to bring a nice fresh perspective fresh energy this is that replacement card this is that card that's that that's gonna after we get this medicine mother card and is seeing that um when one chapter closes another one opens this is that this is what this energy is bringing and this is good. This is positive. This is positive, good energy. Okay. New relationships, new romance, love, happiness, joy, conception, fertility, pregnancy, celebration, socializing. This is a really, really good card to have. So I really see if you take the information that I have given you, the advice that I have given you in this in this reading and apply it, I really do see this new year going absolutely amazing for you. Okay. So this has been your reading group number three. I want to apologize again that I had to break it up in another video, but I love you guys and I wish you so well. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. I really, really appreciate it. And peace.